said. Hey guys, Tony here from The Seniors. I thought I'd give you a little bit of context around today's video. So today we have Jake riding with us, which is Rodney's son. Although not a mountain biker, he's a uh, proficient motorbike rider, motocross rider. So he's riding with us today on a borrowed e-bike. So what we're doing here is we're running down the top line of Tanifa, and at the top I said to him, look, follow me down, I'll take you through the smooth parts. They're not going to be the fastest, but it'll be the smoothest line. So I'm following Warren down here, thinking that Jake is right behind me. And as you'll see a little bit later on, that uh, it's not actually Jake behind me, I get a bit of a surprise. But that sets the tone for the rest of the day. You'll see how this plays out. I was meaning to brake left just after this little drop as the one after it's a little bit fiddly you can see here that I've realized my mistake oh, I missed it. should have gone left who and what was that on a second look that looks a lot like Rodney apparently I was wrong it wasn't Jake that was following me down it had been Rodney all along Right, redemption. So after Rodney's flying mullet passed me going down Tunnifer, I thought I'd have my own little game of the Red Bull Fox Hunt. What I was doing for the rest of the day is following Rodney, give him a little bit of a lead with some breathing space, and then see if I could run him down, and ultimately try and pass him if I could, which is obviously very difficult on single trails through trees. But anyway, I was determined to give it a go. these Magura MT7s never ceases to amaze me come to a complete stop in about a meter and a half they would have worked out really bad for Ronnie if they hadn't <laughs> if you can thank my brakes later Rod so you go right I actually feel a little bad for this one Tamunga is one of Rodney's favourite trails, but he doesn't know this line. This is uh, Fork, so he hasn't ridden it before. But when he wanted to do it, I knew that there was a, um, a line up here that split into two, and I had a good chance of passing it. Let's see if we can pull it off. And boom, just like that, I'd managed to pass him on a single trail. Uh, not too sure this is my proudest moment, but it's good fun anyway. Isn't that we ride for? For the banter that those sorts of things produce afterwards while you're sitting around having a beer. Ah. I did actually put the hammer down once I got out in front. Obviously not this fast, this is at two times speed. The reason for that was it's quite boring watching me just ride through trees of this nine shot with me. So what I was trying to do here was see what sort of gap I could pull. Um, before we come out onto the road. So I got out onto the road and did the old one Mississippi, two Mississippi in my head. And not only that, playing the psychological game of trying to look calm and relaxed and like I'd been waiting down there for days before they popped out. It's all part of the game. Okay, Warren's gone, Rodney's trying to stay with him, right let's see if I can catch.
I can't get in there. Catching them. Ah, they'll take them all on right Come on, Rod. So this explains your uh, pace, Rodney. Um, you had a front flat tire all day. <laughs> In all seriousness, it was great riding with you again, Rod. Uh, it had been far too long. For those of you who don't know Rod, he's a great ambassador for the sport, super keen and enthusiastic and willing to help anyone get into it. Until next time, guys. <laughs>